A while back I did a few projects as part of a challenge to help disabled people. And they're back for more, so so am I, because I like building stuff, and building stuff to help people sounds pretty cool. And it's probably better than making exclusively ridiculous stuff. So. The challenge lets you submit an idea and get feedback. The feedback I got conveyed that there are quite a few challenges with cabinets in particular for the mobility impaired, and that having a voice activated cabinet would be a game changer. We like game changers. So with that, let's away and make some smart cabinets. And by that, I mean we're gonna take a quick detour because what stood out to me as intuitive was automatic cabinets, because instead of saying open cabinet two, you just walk in proximity and it opens and closes. So we will make smart cabinets, but first I wanna make that. The setup for this is gonna be simple, so it's also gonna be fast to go through. Basically, ultrasonic sensor detects when someone's in range, but I'm not a dummy. If it's too close, it's gonna be annoying. If it's too far, you're gonna be walking past and it's just gonna attack you with cabinets. So I figured there will be a sweet spot, which I'm estimating to be about a foot, where we'll just activate, open, stay open for a minute, and then close automatically. Super simple, probably very user dependent, probably definitely very user dependent. Some kitchens will be too small, where you don't really have the space to navigate. Some users would rather have the control, but either way, now it's an option. Considering that I have a cruising baby in the house and I'm putting this together for other people in the first place, installing automatic cabinets in my house seemed like maybe not the best idea. So, I opted not to create a Ninja Warrior course for her. That'd probably be mean. And we have other ways to demo the functionality. Conveniently, I still have this toy chest set up from the interactive mural I made for my kiddo. It hasn't gotten a fancy setup in the new house yet, so we can use it for a quick demonstration. So now to build our smart cabinet. But the thing about that is, we need something to pass around all the commands, but thankfully, I have a box. And in that box is a CM4 stack from M5 stack. Very stacky. Ooh. For all you nerds out there, you probably already know what's happening. This is our server. And for all you non-nerds out there, this little thing is like a little computer and server doesn't mean like a waiter at a restaurant. It's basically a little middleman between where we say, hey, open the cabinet. And that device says, okay, let me tell this thingy. And then this thingy tells all the devices, hey, if you're the device that's supposed to open the given cabinet, do that. That's it, that's how it works. So now we can put together the actual smart cabinet. And since at this point I've learned to skip the code parts of these videos, yay, it's already done. But don't worry, for the code enjoyers out there, or those just looking to copy paste the code for a homework assignment, I'll have a full project write up for everything in this video. So now we have two thirds of the puzzle. We have something to open and close cabinets, and we've got the thing to pass around the commands in the first place. So now what we need is a way to conveniently say, hey, do this thing. This little doohickey has a built-in microphone and Wi-Fi. So with a dash of code, we're online and can yell at a tiny box to make it do things around the house. Oh yeah. So we just give it a zip zap poodle whap and bam, we've got a butler on hand. Butler cabinet. Your butler cabinet. Get my unit you know, hiker on like a parrot. And what's cool about this is I never programmed any sort of cabinet command on the Flask server, but when I say butler cabinet, it should just do a thing. Please don't embarrass me in front of my friends. Thank you so much. But I suppose people may or may not allegedly tend to have more than one cabinet. So I put together a version that can control a couple of cabinets to pave the way for that whole I have more than one cabinet way of living. Yo, yo, hey there, butler, butler, hello, butler. Butler, stove cabinet. Butler, dishwasher cabinet. At this point, everything's working well, and we like that. Oh yes, I'm the best. That's right. So we have our input devices, the server to distribute the commands, and our smart home devices. When a command is issued, it goes to all the smart home devices, but only the one listening for that command does anything about it. With the setup, I can add as many input devices and custom smart home devices as I want super easily. And with that, this was a little bit less ridiculous of a build than usual, but hopefully you enjoyed the ride, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace, internet.